Well folks, welcome to the video where we're going to repair these antique binoculars. Okay, what I'm hoping you can see on the video there is these little striations on the glass there. They can't really be removed from the outside. So that's what we're going to do here today to clarify these binoculars. So I think that you can see if you look closely, you can see just at the top there they got all these striations in the lens there and that's the repair that we're going to make today now this particular binocular does just unscrew which is useful because some of the old binoculars can be really difficult if we turn this upside down we can see here there's a knurled area so that indicates that you can unscrew this and indeed you can it comes away and there's quite a long thread on it too so it takes a little while underneath you see this, the start of the lens group and you can also see the fault there just at the top of the lens there. I don't know if we can actually look through it. There you go, you can see it there, look. That's pretty clear. So the next thing is to try and get the lens out. So I've inserted a metal tool, and you would be better probably with pegwood or something like that. Uh, I'm just gonna carefully press at the back because this lens is just sitting in a cup and there's nothing really holding it in. So that's now come out. And on the side there, there's a bit of a clue as to what's going on here. You see just here, what we effectively have here is a lens group and this lens group has been put together with some kind of sticky resin over a period of time, possibly if somebody's dropped the binoculars. The resin's become fragile and it's become cracked and shattered inside. But the glass probably is very intact and that needs a bit of work. But because this kind of resin is very, very old, it just comes off with solvent. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is insert a steel blade um, into the lens group and try to separate them. So you can see that they've just come apart. And you can also see the traces of the resin that was holding them together. So what I'm using here is just a cloth with uh, methylated spirit to wipe off the old varnish. So once you have gone to the trouble of wiping the lenses clean of any resin with methylated spirit, you then use a clean cotton cloth to polish the surface of the lens to remove any fingerprints or anything like that. The lens group is then reinserted and uh, just be careful to keep your fingers off it. The resin was originally put in there to stop dirt getting in between the group so it doesn't actually cause a problem if you don't have any. So if you reinsert the uh, the group and then do up the threads and there you have a nice clean and clear grouping. And you can see how clear it is now looking through it all the striations have gone. Now I do not recommend you putting the group together with epoxy resin because as an antique if you ever take it apart in the future you will never get it apart again. If, you, if it ever gets, if the varnish goes yellow or whatever you'll never get it apart again. So just put them together loose and they will be fine because essentially that means you can re-clean it again at some point in the future which is a good idea. When you take the group apart be careful how much force you use There you go, that's that particular binocular problem fixed. And there you go, an amazing pair of antique binoculars. Thanks so much for watching folks.